Je, to ti ovaj mikro. Say something. Aha. Alo. Alo bre. Alo bre. Nemoj sada da vadim budalu. Dobro. Može, a? Dobro, može. Šljiva. Šljiva. Ili kaj si ja? Šljiva. Šljiva, uzmo brata, šljiva i... Malo ovog. Ok. Ovako, a? Da. Bratski, dobro. A, mi pijemo cijelu full. And we don't drink normally. Nego rk kao stok. A, čep. E. Pre posla, before work, da nazdravimo i onda. Ajde. Živjeli. Živjeli, brate moj. Dobrodošao. Dobrodošao sa dalekih zemanja. I, drago ljudi, ovdje ću opim. Dobrodošli. U prvu epizodu. Da, rećemo da je prva epizoda. Novog, evoluirano, Pičko Vukovic iskustva. Prošlo je puno vremena, ali smo se vratili. Nemamo puno sponzora, tako da nećemo puno ni dužiti, nego ćemo ući direktno u ovo jedno časo ono ludilo. Danas sa mnom, sa dalekog istoka, iz Singapura, Marko, da, Marko iz Singapura, ali ne, ne, bilo ko je Marko, nego Marko! Pomaže Bog, ja sam Marko iz Singapura. Pomaže Bog, Marko, Bog ti pomogao. Kako si danas? Kako si putovao? Dobro je, ali idem ovdje iz zemom polje. A mi smo ovdje gdje? U studiju high tech tehnologije broj 21. U kotežu. Dug put. Ali, u ovoj jednom časnoj aventuri saznat ćemo zapravo kako je došao ovdje u Srbiju iz dalekog Singapura. Ja imam toliko pitanja za tebe, a ja su so meni koji... Ok. I will keep speaking as much Serbian as I can, but if you don't understand, I will switch up. Because I, I'm still not sure how, how good is your Serbian. Eh, moj srpski je sranji. <laughs> eh, ali je bolje nego Tonija. Vidit ćemo Tonija malo kasnije koji živi ovdje. Bro, I, let's start from the beginning. Where are you from? Tell us something about your roots. Ja rođen u Singapur, moji rodite je kinezi, oni su katolici, živi u Singapur. Koliko godin imaš? 19. 19. Za sve oni koji ne veruju, evo zvanično, 19 godina, moj brat. I možda da kažeš nešto o svom detinstvu, čanku? about my childhood. Yeah. Uh, Even in English, it's okay. Yeah, I, I grew up Catholic and then, uh, yeah, I became atheist when I was younger. And then somehow, I don't know what the fuck happened, but I, I became religious again. And then I started reading church history. And then, yeah, I started One thing to, one Yeah, one yeah, one. yeah. Then I was like, mm, yeah, orthodoxy is correct. Is right. Yeah, it's right. In the heart. Uh, it's it's very it's uh, it's very uh, common theme here for people. Let's see. Uh, I when I was twelve, I was baptized into Orthodox Christianity. Before that, me and my family we were all atheists because of the communism, you know. Yeah. So how how is the how is the rule there in, in your country? Uh, how was your childhood like because of the political? Theory? I mean, it's it's not so much different than here, yeah. It's okay there. No, no corruption. Very little corruption and just like here, <laughs> <laughs> beautiful country. Yeah. Well, there's no room for corruption in Singapore because the minister and parliament members are paid so much money, so they don't need. Everything. They don't need to be corrupt to uh, get money. Uh, understandable. Okay, tell me uh, about this side of your childhood. So. You are an artist uh, with deadly weapon right here, you know. <laughs> so wh when did you discover your uh, your like talent? Was it when you were younger? Or? Uh, my my parents made me learn music when I was four years old, and then I didn't want to go at first. But then when I went for the first lesson, I was like, "Well, yeah, this is fun. Yeah, this is good. Yeah, yeah. it's good." And <laughs> Same I, for me for folklore, bro. My mom she took me by the hand and she was like, "I'm gonna probably play." I was like, "No." 
And then when I realized I was the only boy with a lot of girls, you know, just dancing folklore, bro, I stayed. It, it bought me, you know, it was it was my cup of tea, definitely. Yeah. So, but uh, were your parents like strict? So, you know, they brought you to class, you come back home, they enter the room, they ask you, like, did you learn to, to yeah, play your yeah, instrument? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, uh, Tell me when you bring your instrument to perfection. <laughs> Is what that was yeah, like, yeah. Uh, what, just when to love. They, they you're forced so me. good at it. They, I have to compliment you. <laughs> Thanks, man. They they forced me to to learn uh, practice as well. And every day, like when I was younger, is every day two hours piano. Yeah. And then if if I didn't practice, my mom would just beat the shit out of me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, bigger. It's it's out of love, probably. Yeah. Can I borrow your right to buy the accent? Maybe we'll steal it. Yes, thank you. Mm. But that's that side, you have that artistic side. And the first instrument was piano, yeah? Yeah, then cello and then guitar. Cello and everything. Yeah. All I know is... You know? <laughs> that's all I do. And some singing, which we can do later if you if you, if you, if you kind of accept yeah, my, sure. my invitation for it. Uh, okay, so no sports, nothing. Just straight to the yeah, arts, just, the music. music. So how was your school, elementary school? I have this, you know, question say I ask them to everyone. Uh, yeah, yeah. Education in Singapore is very stressful. Stressful, Like I, I, I saw my friends and then I asked them what time they finished school. They were like, oh, 8 p.m. And I was like, what the fuck? But then I they asked me, I, I asked them what time school starts and they were like, 2 p.m. Yeah. And I was like, oh. oh. For me, it's 7 a.m. until 5 p.m. Oh, it's just like 9 to 5 almost. Oh. It's worse than that. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah, I bet, I bet. Yeah. But, bro, that's why worldwide we can hear about, you know, the... You know what we have saying here in Serbia. If you think you are good at something... There's always an Asian... Asian, do it, can do it better, bro. That's it, bro, that's it. Even for the, the songs and for our beautiful language and everything, that's why you are here. You can do it better than most of my colleagues, bro. <laughs> I've been singing my my whole dancing career, which is like maybe seven or eight years, and that's what I have in me left out of everything. All the dancing and traveling and everything. I love just to sing. And it, it grabbed my attention when, when, when I saw you singing a lot of our, uh, our, our maybe traditional, maybe even national music, you know. Yeah. And we will come to that, but first, so, you, you said that you were actually Catholic, then you become atheist. I had that part of my life also, back, back, like seven, eight years ago. But what made you come to the Serbian language? Like out of, I mean, there is Russian. Russians are also Orthodox. Yeah. I mean, you have Muslims, everything, you know, Catholics, but they are Orthodox countries, same as Serbia. You know, how how how, how Serbia out of all the places? Well, I was baptized in Christian Rusku Crkvu in Singapore. I know a little Crkveno Slovenski, because I sing in the Crkvu, but. I, I I I wanted to go to an Orthodox country and it was too expensive to go to Russia. And so it was Serbia. Yeah, and I was like, okay, I'll go to Serbia. I went first time there for three weeks and then I was like, mm, yeah, I love this place. I'm going to stay forever. That was when? That was last time? That was 2022. 2022, so after Corona. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, but your, your language is so good. <laughs> you, you started that back home just because of the songs or it's mostly the religion the religion yeah. and then when i came here it's mostly the people mostly the people yeah. that keep you interested yeah i, I mean I, most people here don't really go to church that much but yeah, true true but true. they're my friends and they're nice everyone is it's nice. in spirit uh, yeah the yeah. religion is in spirit and in the faith so you know i mean i understand that that's the even in Muslim countries, I've seen it for myself. I lived uh, in Tunisia, bro, for like three or four months straight, you know, and the guys, they're all Muslim, you know? I mean, they, they, they're supposed to pray like three or four times a day. Five times a Five day. times a yeah. day, you know? And they can't, you know? Busy, yeah, we get tourism, you know? But still, they prefer to say they're religious, you know? But I will come to that too, because I wanted to know what was your motivation, because I know out of the love, I was motivated to learn some Arabic, some, that was my motivation, but I want to see, like, you, you were a little bit younger than me, and 
when you go back three or four, you're like minor, bro. You're like 15, 16. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's incredible what religion can do to uh, to do. Okay, so the can you tell me more about your path? You know, you were you say you sing in church and, and stuff. What's your musical history? Can you you have maybe yeah. some albums or some singles drop or you no, just do the covers? I, I, I mostly play back home for work. I play like. Chinese pop and English pop in clubs. Like I play guitar as my job in Singapore, and then uh, my hobby is to play metal. Yeah. Ah, okay. Yeah. yeah. Are you look like that? <laughs> yeah, punk and metal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you, you have that edge part of your, you know, edgy. Yeah, I have the artistic personality and then the autistic side as well. <laughs> That's me. But I want to, to also through this to give you some, uh, and I want to make some, to, to speak about those things because you uh, you picked up a lot of national stuff from Serbia. Yeah. But there is this traditional part. You know, I'm the traditional part you still maybe haven't had a chance to meet, you know. Have you ever been to like folklore events, you know, here in Serbia, you know? I went to Ethno Folk like concert once. Like Danica Tsarnova ah, yeah, okay, in Novi yeah. Sad. Yeah, and. Yeah, I, my friend brought me to one like uh, show where they were playing Gusle. Ah, Gusle? Yeah. yeah, okay, that's nice. You know, we don't say. Uh, we, we are the first rappers for no reason, because of Gusle. We say the Gusle is Serbian, right? You know about yeah, yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've yeah. heard about this stuff. Uh, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me about the program of the music, that you know, about Serbia. Can we maybe jump into like a little music break and maybe perform something for us, you know? Yeah, sure. To, to get, to get this part started with something nice, you know? Well, I, I like the chat which chat, yes, man. <laughs> my father approved. <laughs> <laughs> my father approved. Can we maybe hear something, yeah? Yeah, sure. Yeah, I, I will, we will give you the podium is yours. Tell me Na kraljevom živa vatra seba, da vidi ga kopčenika nema. That, that kind of songs. And also turbo folk. Really, yeah. Can we continue yeah. this one? I don't know the whole song, but ah, okay, okay. Do maybe like, can you maybe sing like one, one tour before? By Mark Ninja. I think we have. Can we me find the the right. Yeah. Slučajno, tico moja bijelila bude, još te srce voli beskrajno, suzo moja ka me probude, još te srce voli beskrajno, suzo moja ka me probude, daj mi javu, ja ću te bisan, tico moja bijelila bude, Pa nek traje samo jedan dan, pa neka me sutra me bude. Daj mi javu, ja ću te bisan, tico moja bijelila bude. Pa nek traje samo jedan dan, pa neka me sutra me bude. I am a blog, you listen to the Kolega Dukluzio, Slavka, 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 Bravo, brate. Beautiful. I, 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 I feel my father, my father, father is watching from the above and be like, proud as fuck right now, you know? It, it's, there is something, you know, that I can you show us some behind, you know, there is Maya. 
Yeah. But who are the people, you know, who you can maybe shout out that was your inspiration from the authors that you drill in, you know, when you play, when you sing, when you're learning, you know. What what was the authors? Who, who can you mention one? Who are the inspiration also? Like the musicians or the yeah. From here. Uh -huh. I don't know man, I only listened to some from Tetsa, Baya, Bani Boyanic, Jay, Shaman Shalic. You 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 go to watch a new movie about Jay, yeah? Uh, I didn't watch that one. Ah, I saw the one about Toma Zrakovic. Ah. Bro, I think we deserve another one. Huh? <laughs> yeah. Another one, small one, huh? I mean, it was beautiful what you did for us. I'm big boy. Take a phone call. Srećna slava, you see what's it? I'm still gonna drink later, so I can't drink that much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, uh, just zagrevanje. Zagrevanje, živo. Živo. Živio, brate moj. E! What is your Slava? Mitrovdan. Mitrovdan? Yeah. And uh, they gave you that when you were baptized? No, uh, in Russian church we don't have Slava, but... Uh -huh, uh, okay. I'm gonna... I, I chose Mitrovdan when I come here. <laughs> I'm gonna ask some priests, uh, yeah. Oče, daj mi slava, molim te. <laughs> it's good. Yeah. It's good to, to, to be, especially if you're gonna live in Orthodox country. There is one thing. Uh, if you kill yourself or something, then you cannot be buried in the yeah. Orthodox, yeah. Uh, Orthodox graveyard and stuff. That's, that's, that's part of the religion, if you know about it. Yeah, we, we, and you cannot write like you know in church you can write the names and then give it to the priest to mention during the liturgia but yeah. if the person killed themselves or is atheist or isn't orthodox you cannot write yeah yeah, yeah that's true the more you know <laughs> <laughs> okay and uh, can you tell me when, when was your bapt uh, bapt baptization what was it like got some imam just nice just nice was it no. and that's now for life. Yeah, it's for life. You don't see it maybe as rushed, uh, rushed like sometimes. No, I, I was, uh, I was reading it for like one year, and then I asked the priest in the Russian church, uh, "Can you baptize me?" And then he's like, "Okay, read this." He gave me a book to read. I finished it, and I was like, "Okay, uh, can you baptize me now?" And he's like, "Okay," and yeah, yeah he saw I had to find a kuma and whom uh, which I had because in my high school my classmate she she's half Indian half Russian but her parents are both Orthodox and then so they became my godparents because they were already my friends. Ah, uh, Tvoje okolina, your family, yeah, yeah. they didn't uh, like find it weird because you no, changed faith no, at they, that young age. They were they were actually very happy. Supportive? Yeah. Uh, right. my, my, my parents weren't that supportive at first. They. They almost kicked me out of the house. <laughs> yeah, but God helps and they accepted it. Pomaže Bog! Bog ti pomog. To je to, pomaže Bog, braći i sestre, svima ste čuli gospodo u režiji, pomaže Bog. We have happy režija, you know. Uh, tell me, so... Uh, your parents at first didn't support you, but you still continued. And when you were coming here for the first time, how was your, how, how, how did you feel? Did you maybe like, if you go there, come here and like get disappointed or something? No, I came here, I was like, oh yeah, weather's much better than Singapore. Yeah, yeah. It's a tropical island in Singapore. Every day is like 30, 35 degrees. Even at this time of year? Yeah, yeah, yeah there's, oh. no, there's no winter, it's summer. Really. My, my, my geography is bad, I'm really sorry. <laughs> maybe that should be common knowledge, but yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, the coldest I, I've seen in Singapore was like 28 degrees. And it was because it was thunderstorm. Ah, yeah, it yeah, it was fun. raining. <laughs> so, and uh, you came here. What was the first thing you did when you came here? 
I First came time. here. I went to see my friend. Then. Imos drugare sa Facebooka, interneta. Well, I met him from Singapore, so and then he went like that. Ah, okay. Yeah, I went there and then shout out to Nicola. And then I I saw him and then I just went out and then yeah I met my other friends that I knew from online and then yeah we went to Kosovo. You go to Kosovo? Yeah, we went to Kosovo, Sertipek, uh, uh, and other monasteries in Leposavic and Mitrovica. You did maybe some another trip like that? Yeah, maybe like that. You can you know. Put up like maybe go to Gračanica. Yeah. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. Of course. Oh, of course. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Next time I will go to Ostrog. Ostroga. Yeah. You know we don't say I swear on my mom. We say Ostrogami. <laughs> <laughs> what was the first Serbska word? First Serbska word you learned. Word. Yeah. Word. First word you learned. Jeden <laughs> Timata. <laughs> it's fun. Uh, yeah. Good. Uh, okay. So, what uh, what tells like right as of right now is in your plan? Like what what you're trying to do right now? What what's going on right now? What, you have some projects. I mean, yeah, I'm gonna save money in Singapore and then maybe open a restaurant here, and then also go to Bogoslovia next year. For a faculty. Yeah. So you want to study here on? Uh, yeah. On Bogoslovsky faculty. Bogoslovsky faculty, brat you. I don't know. In Serbian, it's uh, it's it's place where people have faith go to study the faith and religion of Orthodox. M- mostly. Mostly. I mean, mostly, there is. Yeah. There, there are some people that who are not really religious. I, I'm not gonna say much, but. Uh, some people told me they are drug addicts and atheists. Yeah. And, and and like people who want to disprove God. Yeah. Fuck that. They went there. Bog je jedini bog čuo Srbe. Bog je Srbin. Bog je Srbin, brate. Ti si brate moj bog. Even though you are from Singapore, you are Serbian. My eyes, you, you are more Serbian than, than, than most people I, I know in my life. So respect for that, bro. The Republika Srpska Singapore. <laughs> But you know what I like the most about your about your about yourself, mm-hmm. your edgy edgy style. That's because it reminds me of myself a lot. And I want to ask you, maybe did you did you have? I mean, I'm sure 100 percent you had experiences here that are pleasant from people who are very hospitable. You know, hospitality here is on yeah, another yeah, level. Yeah. I think I can say. I mean, I travel like 20, 30 countries. You know, a lot more friendlier than than Asia. But did you have like a bad experiences? Maybe you know because oh, you're oh, Asian. Or only something. with only with Tsigani. Oh, oh, with Tsigani. The only people that were actually racist to me in Serbia were Tsigani. They're racist to the black people, to the Asian people, to the sure. they say white uh, to the normal. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> to the white people, they're racist towards everyone. It's yeah. in their blood because they're protected more than anyone. <laughs> but don't don't take them for uh, for granted. They, they they have their good side and bad side, you know, gypsy. Yeah. Here we go. But I understand. What happened? You you maybe have something specific to say. Some Tigan tried to steal my phone. Oh but uh, they did <laughs> I just tried beat him up. picked it up from me, but what happened? I just beat him up. That's what you have to be careful about. They will always pull the minority card, you know. On yeah. The, on the uh, but I'm also suit. minority, so it's okay. So it's okay. But but I know a story about it where that didn't went very. The the people from uh, that expelled ran away from Kosovo. They end up in fight with Tsigani. Yeah. And you know who got the uh, upper card? Who 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 had a. Uh, Milo Sergej, who was like blessed by the judge, you know? The Tsigani. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Protected minority. Yeah, we yeah. go. It's normal, but it's usually the kids. Yeah. It's always the kids, actually, not usually. It's always the kids. The other ones are usually uh, are big. <laughs> there's, there's Roma and there's Tsigan. Like, I, I saw some normal gypsies. Bro, you can see. 
ти си циган, некои ме who is not циган, who is not roma, who is циган штура. I'm sometimes циган штура myself, you know, I don't take a shower like multiple days, you know, and I'm циган штура very much, you know. Or Tony, he is black, but he's not, you know, Tony. Yeah. He lives with me, he's downstairs, he's getting ready for work. He's black, but sometimes he's циган штура, and I tell him, циган е дрогба, стоп. I have to, what do I to drug, but the boss in a second, but I tell them. I told them they have to bring drug but later because we're a worldwide community of idiots. <laughs> yeah, so no, nothing specific in your head, no? No. Okay, can you tell me uh, what is the difference uh, culturally, like not just religious, like culturally from where you came from, like here, like can you maybe... Actually, I think it's pretty similar. Pretty similar. Like, like especially the parents, like... Maybe a little bit different for parenting. Like people told me, people told me, yeah, Asian parents they beat their kids when they do stupid shit. Yeah. But then Serbian parents beat their kids when they're drunk. Yeah, book followed when they drink too much rakia. Yeah. Okay. When we speak about rakia, uh, I have uh, another. What's the time? I have another sound request, I will refill my rakia. I plan to destroy myself, you know. I can jump you this one, or if you want small one. Small, small. Right. If you could do me a favor, you know some songs that maybe I know, maybe we can try and sing, you know, together. And I know, you know, Usnila je dubok san, sako sova rada. Maybe we can, we can try that together? Yeah, I need to I need to see the lyrics though. Of course I will get you the lyrics. I'll get you the lyrics. Uh, you want just the lyrics, lyrics? Yeah. No video or something. No, no, just, okay, just lyrics. No problem. Yeah, even we do it. This is beautiful. I tell you, I I, I go to the high school for a traditional dancing, which basically covers folklore. And we do traditional singing, traditional dancing, and traditional playing of the instrument. I have like some of the instruments that serve your traditional, like flute, but it's not flute, it's like double, uh, I will show you just a moment. Wait, I have to show you this one before we start this segment. Wait, wait. Uh, okay. This is a traditional Serbian instrument. It's called Vojnice. We learn to we learn to, to, to play it in the high school. And you, you literally play second voice to your first voice, which is this first this is second, and you go like It's like, it's like Mongolian throat singing, you oh. sing two voices. Oh, I, I don't know like the... this one. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, usnila je dubok sanak, usnila. Ej, hey, dragi, dragi, ja? Je, je, je. Je, je. Jelena Tomahevic. Je, je on čirilica? Znam. Znam, to je moj azbuka. Everything. I only type in Chirica. Yeah, actually, yeah. That's, that's yeah, awesome. I always type in that. Is that good enough for you? Yeah, it's good enough. Okay. Hi, bratio. Živeli. Sviču ti malo njega, malo me. Živeli. Živeli, bratili. He have a perfect eye contact. Znate kako jak eye contact ima kad se brate. Znači, yeah. mogli biste da naučite od njega jedno ili dve stvari, ali pukvom. First time I tried to cheers, I didn't look in the eye and they're like, ah, you have to look in the eye, da, like da. real sub. Da, da, kao pravi. Živjeli bete. Mm. By the way, you don't drink rakia like I do. You sick. Yeah, I yeah. I, am, I just drink with alcoholics. Yeah. Uh, when you are ready, I am ready, my friend. I'm on. Usnila je dubog sanak sa Kosova rada, pa se svomom milom dragom put naruču jada. Se svomom milom dragom put naruču jada. Ej, drago, 
dragi, dragi, požurove sadi, ja ću vodu, a ti koren neki iz njih umadi. Ja ću vodu, a ti koren neki iz njih umadi. Bam, you want another round? Idi s dragi žirom polja Ajde E, čekaj, kad? Šta kaš? Šta pola? A, na pola smo, izvini We say we are on the first half We ended the first half already Can you imagine the half hours just fly by like this? We wanna do a round round, huh? Ok Ajde, ajde Vidiš dragi žirom polja Božju rova nema samo karen, kamen ljuto trnje po oblako nema. Samo kamen ljuto trnje po oblako drema. Ej, dragi, dragi, Božju rove sadi, ja ću vodu, a ti koren neki snik umadi. Ja ću vodu, a ti koren neki snik umadi. I saw, I saw a black woman on YouTube sing this song. Bro, now they can see an Asian dude singing this song on YouTube. And everywhere, we're gonna post this everywhere. Because we have a, this is basically a new season of our show. We haven't done shooting for like five or six months. That's why it seems so rusty, maybe. Yeah. But, you know, I have a couple of more questions for you. Uh, and this was blessing, another blessing. Really. Thank you so much. This is blessing, but it's not important to be perfect. Yeah, thank you, bro. Thank you, bro. I'm gonna put it back because my hair is dirty. Uh, <laughs> this is blessing for us. And I, I know I know my people, people from Serbia, from Balkan, they like to see this stuff. Yeah, and it's not important to be perfect. You know how we make this perfect? When I make you do this for 45 minutes until you... It's like on a practice. When you practice, you never sing it perfectly. You always sing it differently. That's what people don't understand. But my questions for you in the next couple of minutes is going to be what are your plans for the future here? Because you told me some stuff. Yeah. I like to it and I'm going to speak idea. Some idea how capture to this good. How, how is that supposed to look? You know? That, that's what I'm, I'm curious. Because you say you will be moving here, maybe. Yeah. I would love to see that. I hope you find so much success. But what's in your head? Open some Chinese restaurant with Chinese bar, bro. Chinese bar, bro. Yeah, with food. Yeah. Honestly, I'm a fan of Chinese food, you know? There's one good one at Zell in Venice. It's uh, Kineska Muslimanska Hrana. Yeah, true, true, yeah. true. It's pretty good. And yeah, and then also study at uh, Bogoslovia. Bogoslovia, yeah. yeah. So that's the whole deal. And how are you going to support yourself? You want to continue doing this online yeah, personality yeah, yeah. thing, you know? And I think it's going to help you, you know? And I, I honestly, I good, thought... Good advertising for a restaurant. True. Yeah. True, true. Chat the there, you know? Yeah. Uh, who, is, who will be the cook? Uh, I know one guy from Singapore, I'll probably hire him. Yeah. He, he wants to get out of Singapore just as much as I do. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. I, bet I had a similar feeling about Serbia multiple times, like wanting to leave this place. At least. Well, you can see I have this shirt, I went there for a couple of months. I traveled, but wherever I go, I never felt like... It's home. You know? It's home, yeah, yeah, yeah. Even this place, I live in this house for multiple years, yeah. 16, 17 years. I moved around, but I never felt like it's here. Yeah. And I don't know if it's if I should give credit to Serbia, the tradition, to the religion, to the how I was raised, because we are all different. You know, I yeah. cannot uh, say you know compare you and me. It, it doesn't Ma make belac, sense. Ja Ma, <laughs> You're more wise than some people. Yeah, 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 okay, yeah. actually, I I think I'm whiter than Tetsa. Yeah, 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 you're literally, you're bro, you're, yeah. I mean, Tetsa is Romkinia. Yeah, right. basically. She's not Ziganka. No. She can sing like Ziganka. 
Sve to, dođi na podcast. <laughs> Daj do meni Tonija, Boki. Zvala. Jesi ga zvala? Če bi da zvala, a? Ne, 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 da dođe do gore, daj ga vam. Daj ga da dođe gore, daj ljubi ga brat, daj reci brate da, ga, da nam nedostaje brate on. I want to bring Tony. He have his own repertoire. He, he also never... Tupac. Kako nema, ima. Evo ga ovdje mikrofon. Tupac, da, 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 he is Tupac. He is Tupac. And you know, I want to tell before we bring him, I want to tell, you know, I thought I'm gonna have to give you a... <laughs> I'm gonna have to give you like uh, media training maybe. Yeah. I thought it because that's part of your personality, it reminds me so much of myself, the edginess, you know. Because the first thing, what do you say when you come to my place? No, what do you say? When you see the dog with three legs, hey, come hey, on. Hey, Jesse, my večera. Hey, I have a three legs. Hey, I'm going to make a song. Hey, you ever tried like dog food? In Vietnam. Vietnam? In, in Vietnam. It's... How did it taste? I didn't know it was dog. Mm. I, I I I didn't want to eat dogs, but I I went to Vietnam and I was like, oh yeah, give me the best thing you have. And the best thing, oh, shit. soup with ribs, and then I was like, man, this is so juicy, bro. This is so tender. What is this? And I was like, oh, it's dog. Oh shit. Oh, it's a dog. It's a dog. Honestly, maybe I'm crazy for saying. Must I'm lud? Možda. Ma isto. Ali hoću da probam. Ja sam ludi kinez. Ja sam ludi kod težanac i ja bi da probam. I want to try, you know. By the way, we are in cottage. Uh, kad si čuo zaisnih rutina? Znaš zaisnih rutina? Znam. Znaš zaisnih rutina? Pirina se kuva i pile će ko žure. Smrdice je u blok 70 kao džubre. Jedu raza govna paro buvalja i siti. Ubuju se trbaju kinezi travestiti. Yeah! <laughs> Evo, režija is cheering, režija is cheering, people are dying, they are jumping off the, off the window directly straight to the head. Skaču na glavu. Da, 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 moj brat, kad se vrati, when you come back, we're gonna have a beautiful party here. Yeah. I can't wait. When you're coming back, you are now, now it's 10 February, 8 February. 8, 8. 8. Yeah, I'll come back in like March or April, for like 2-3 months. For three, uh, like tourist visa? I don't need visa. You don't need? Yeah, yeah, I have Singapore passport. We, we can go it's, We can go anywhere. It's fine. Bolivar's Kuras. Three months in Serbia, no visa. Three months in... Uh, what's it called? The, the European Union? Schengen. For, no visa for three months as well. Uh, why would you need? You are not troublesome people. You have very, very strict yeah, laws. Yeah, we, like, Serbian people, like, I think recently, now you don't need visa for 30 days in Singapore as well. Mm-hmm. Maybe I'll, I'd like to go there, you know? Yeah, ticket is actually okay. Lufthansa is the cheapest. Like, 700 euros. For two ways. So, yeah, 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 which is not so much. Really. Uh, yeah. You're gonna spend more in Singapore than the air ticket. True. Yeah. I bet, I bet, I bet, I bet. Singapore is worldwide known place. Bro, I love Singapore because I know a lot of esport events happen there. Yeah. We have Kafana there as well. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Except Shout yeah. out to Esad is Novi Pazar. <laughs> With him, Kafana in Singapore. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He, he used to play for uh, fucking Novi Pazar. Oh really? And and then he was playing for some Singapore clubs and coaching in Singapore, I think. Oh bro. Yeah. How? 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 Play, uh, around a, a football legend in. And man, every time I go there, ten shots of rakia for free. Oh. And you know. In, in Singapore it's expensive. One shot of rakia at the cafe is 10 euros. Oh, yeah, yeah. You can, we, I buy this homemade rakia where it says Stretch no Slava, I buy it for like 5-6 bucks. Yeah, yeah, and the chavapi is good. It's, it's Novi Pazar recipe, but it's 20 euros. Oof. But I it's mean, a lot. I mean, 10, 10 chavapi, that's chavapa. Yeah, to, 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 10, to. 10 big chavapi, like, like this. Useraš, brat. <laughs> Kao kurec, burec. Kao kurec. <laughs> kurec. Like Kao Toni, a? <laughs> kaže režija, kao Toni, kaže. Jo, jo, ne nam je cig, daj me zove cigi, nemo zlo da ga vuče. Daj, majke, ti si ti dolo, kaže. Rekao se Daj, molim te, pozove ga, ljubi te, brat, brate, da nam pomogu, da otpava pesmu jednu samu, brate. I really want him to sing this song, because this is a musical podcast for today. Uh, But, 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 okay, I, I, I like to explore this cultural difference a lot. I mean, a lot of people here, you know, can 
say a lot of stuff about you know here they know about everything but like i want to know how 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 bro everything i i'm so interested like i mean what was the if you want to speak about it obviously what was the reason why you go to it Tiggy is in the house. Oh, Tiggy is in the house. Okay, we're gonna continue with the questioning after a moment. Tony! Hey, Jesse, my Cernats! Kako si bato? Dođi, 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 kam, kam? Aj, dođi, dođi. A pusti to, Tony. Pusti to, Tony. A moši, moši, no da, pusti to. Evo, Tony, a chair for you. Can you, can you help us? We have seen the podcast. Super, you can sit here. We have seen the podcast. Can you help us and bless us? With uh, the of course. With your voice. Uh, Ružica Sibila. Ružica. Yeah. I'm looking hurt right now, bro. I was downstairs cleaning up. <laughs> Ziggy cleaning up. Spring cleaning. It's not Ružica Sibila. Yeah. You know, I'll, you I'll, know I'll, this song? I don't know all the words. I just know some of them. But if you don't let that go, we're going to sing it. Like a single one. I guess. <laughs> I can sing it better when I'm like listening to the song, you know. It just takes a hold, you know. I just sing that. I just say, I don't even know the words, and I just say every word. Oh, it's like you. It'd be much, much. I check it out. It'd be crazy, bro. You know another Serbian song? That's the song. Yeah, I'm downstairs cleaning the room, bro. Spring cleaning. It's springtime. We won't be fine. Hey, what you? Oh yeah, here. Diva, you can do it. You will eat so. My favorite is melon actually. My, oh me too, bro. Cause it's sweet. I don't think I had that before. Is that the one with honey? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh yeah, I had that before. Yeah, that one's good too. It's just a little bit too sweet though. But it's like it's not like a bad too sweet. It's just like yeah. a little tasty, you know. But it's actually good though. Just like you, my friend. Does he believe it? Check it, check it, check it. He he go to drink after. Yeah, I'm going to zap a bar later. Yeah, we we will we will join you there, you know. Okay. You you want a karaoke? Yeah, yeah. We're oh, going to karaoke. you want a karaoke? Tony, want to go to karaoke later? What time? When we go later, nine ten after the work. At all later. You are literally upstairs. Okay, I, let's have a little quiz. Let's have a little quiz. Now we have a, a, uh, we have Asian dude, we have American dude, and we have European boy. And like, I let's say how you how you how would you describe Serbia in five words? How would you as a, as a, somebody who moved in? U pet reči kako bi opisao Serbiju? Based. Based. Uh. Hospitable. Thank you. Uh, beautiful country. Wow. Uh, pollution. <laughs> very much. <laughs> um, <laughs> women. <laughs> yeah, I bet. And you, Tony, as American who lives in Serbia for the past three or four years? I would say it's vast. Similar in some type of ways to the States. There's like a lot of food everywhere. Shitty transport, you know. I mean like like I could look at all the bad things, but there's like a lot of good things comparing to like where I come from. Because 
a lot of things you have here that we don't have there, people will actually, you know, they would be grateful for those type of things. You know, you guys have bakeries on every fucking corner, bro. Like, like tea. water from the sink. Yeah. You have water from the yeah, sink. Yeah, like, like yeah, it's clean. It's clean. It's filtered. We we filter. We buy. The thing is, in Singapore, we we have the best uh, water cleansing facility. We buy shit dirty water from Malaysia. We clean it for cheap, and then we sell it back to them. Oh shit, yeah. Malaysia! I I work for Malaysia Embassy. That's how we make money. I pet words. Five words. Serbia. Civil. Civil. Fun. Fun. Peaceful, hospitable, and I can be free. Yeah. I can be free if I'm not caught. I can be free. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Yeah, it's actually a lot more freedom in, Ser in Serbia than in Singapore. Because this is wild, wild west of the Europe. You know, there is yeah, always yeah. a hole in the European charts. And there is Serbia in that hole. <laughs> but freedom for me is something different, you know, like, I don't have police following me all the fucking time, you know. But when they do, you post them on Instagram. No, like, that was just like, that was like one incident. <laughs> like, out of the whole three years I've been here, I've only been approached like twice. I know? almost got arrested at school. Right mm. Why? Because some retarded girl, uh, stupid as me, she started yelling, hey, in Serbian, and then police came to us. We didn't even know her. She was just next to us, and she yelled. That police came to us. Me and my friends, they searched all of us. They shined the light. They found like in my pocket. They found like some a piece of dust, like yeah. white color piece of dust. Oh, Kineshe, we got him. Oh, Kineshe, <laughs> And then, and then when they searched my pockets, I was like, oh fuck. They found my small, tiny as knife, mm. and they're like. My my friend was like crying. He's like, please don't arrest him. He will get his fingers cut off in Singapore. <laughs> and they're like, oh, that's bad, man. And then they just said, right, please don't do this again. Just yeah. carry pepper spray, please. Uh, we will throw it away for you, but no more next time. Yeah. Come on, that's bullshit. You can have a knife big, big like this. No, you can't. Uh, my my friend got stopped and then he confiscated his knife. Yeah. It was like this small. No, my friend have a knife like in his. Uh, here, a belt, and yeah. <laughs> he pulls a knife, it's like this short, and they didn't bother, I mean, they were like, what the fuck, but they were like, it's legal, <laughs> Yeah. they are trying to use everything against you, everywhere, the police is the same. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I, I have this theory, police in Serbia, they don't bully it in high school, and Every, that's everywhere though, yeah. everywhere. Well, in Singapore it's different, because we have two years of, of conscription, and then, you like either must. Yeah, all men must go. go. But I, 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 I dodged it. I just pretend I'm crazy. But for for Singapore, it's like two years conscription. You either go to military, uh, civil defense, or police. Oh. So the police are they actually very nice. They're they're like all oh, they. It's not that they wanted to be police. They just had to do it for two years. Yeah. yeah. Mandatory. Yeah, mandatory service. Well, we only have like six million people, and only. it's like, well, Singapore is an island. Yeah, 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 yeah. We have to defend ourselves because we are rich. Can you tell me more about like the Singapore? I know the Singapore exists for like years and years and years. Can you tell us more about that culture? Like, something uh, sticks to you? It's actually very artificial because like uh, Singapore is not a real actual. There's no Singapore culture. It's artificially created because. Wait, Singapore is a city, but what's the country? Singapore. Singapore, yeah. Yeah, we, we, it's a city state. And then it used to be part of Malaysia, and then we got kicked out because they were scared that Chinese people are going to become a majority. So oh, wait, so you were kicked out? Yeah, out of Malaysia. Ah, uh -huh. so you didn't have like referendum for independence or something? No, it, we had referendum to join Malaysia, and oh, then shit. we got kicked out two years later because <laughs> racial riot. Yeah, I mean, they are Muslims yeah. and they're mostly like yeah, yeah. gold, black, brown. Yeah, they're mostly brown, brown and then we're like yellow. Yellow, white. Yeah, I kicked out Muslim niggas. That's cool. I love him so much. Bro, that's it. He's basically part of the family, right? 
Wait. Yeah, wait. Wait. Let's go, bro. Let's go. I mean, if it was up to me, bro, we all live in peace, you know? That shit crazy to me. Yeah, in Singapore, we have like, we make things like majority Chinese, like 85% Chinese and then like 10% are like Malay Muslims. Yeah, yeah. And then the rest are Indians and then white people. Yeah, Indians. But, but we, don't, we don't classify white people as white people. We just, like, it's Chinese, Malay, Indian, and then everyone else is just classified on their ID others. Others, yeah, yeah. I mean, they are minorities. <laughs> they are minorities. I understand that, bro, I live with like, Brownies with my dear friends from Tunisia, bro. I, I know how it is. Yeah. I feel like uh, I'm famous there. Yeah? <laughs> I bet the same for you here and for you. People stop you on the street, yeah? Sometimes. Sometimes, uh, yeah. What they say? You should be on a buy in the concert. <laughs> yeah, okay. I Let's try to bring this to a halt, to, to let's try and end this in some cool manner. And I have some questions that I ask to all my guests. Tony, you will come one day as a guest of your self, like for a moment, and then I will ask you this question. But now I have for Mark this question. What would you like to tell Marco in the future? Like, what would you like to send him as a message now? Like, what would you like to see Marco in future accomplish or a message to him? Something like, I mean, I know it's, I know it's maybe like, you know, Everyone do kind of, the, the, it's kind of like, you know, you put yourself in front of the camera, you look in the camera and say what you'd like to say. Uh, Marco, ne moi da push it travel e find a bitch to marry. Srpkinju, pravo srpkinju. Find a wife to marry, good session. Maybe we will see. Yeah. I hope to to, to I, I really want to. It, it was my dream even when I was Catholic. Even back then, back home. Yeah. But then thank God when I'm being a priest, I won't be touching kids, I'll just be touching my women. <laughs> Blessed. <laughs> Blessed. Say okay. That. Tony. Say that. <laughs> Tony, you have something nice to say for our guest. Oh, it's my pleasure, my brother. So it's uh, always a pleasure. And for the end, I would like to end uh, in a nice manner. Maybe we can sing another song, huh? Aye, Samo Pia Mogu. Samo Pia Mogu, Moji. Tony, maybe he don't know this, but you can just act like I'm a follow the other one. To let the man set his. <laughs> Vukojević iskustvo, hvala vam puno što ste se pridružili u još jednoj avanturi. Ja sam zahvalan puno Marko, Marko, evo ruka za tebe. Really, this is a hand for you. Thank you so much. Even from Tony. Tony, thank you for joining us in this late evening show. I know you've been cleaning, I know you're hurry for work. I know everything is, everything, you are my friend. Everything happens in the sense of when it happens. Tako je, sve se desi kad se desi, kad treba da se desi. Budite strpljivi, ljubim vas Isa i vidimo se u sljedećoj epizodi Fičko Vukovic iskustva. Vidimo se. Vidimo se.
Ще с Богом, С Богом, С Богом. С Богом. With God. Godspeed. Godspeed. And cut.